yourself as and why? Um, it's a bit strange because like my mom and I have quite big eyes, that's like a genetic thing. Mm -hmm. So we were called owls, so I kind of like feel like I'm an owl of some sort because I keep, I don't mean to scare but my eyes are just so big so I do think like maybe an owl. If not, like I do like apes and like monkeys, I think they're so close to us and I quite like how smart they are. And yeah, I think I'd be either an owl or an ape, they're completely two different animals, but yeah. Oh god, uh, I'd see myself as a turtle because I can be quite slow. But like I'm on, I'll get there eventually and people like me I think, you know, all those people like, oh he's a turtle, he's cool. <laughs> oh god, you see, it won't bode well for me but I, I do love sloths and I relate to them a lot. I swear I am proactive, like, <laughs> but um, I do love a good sloth. Um, I hate that was the only example I had. But I have a small obsession with them so I do kind of relate to them on a certain level. I do like a good snooze but god I seem so unproactive, please, oh god. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, is there a better example? I do like otters. Otters I love. They do this thing where they have a pedal and like they like to just, no one really knows why they do it. I think they're just big show offs and I'm like, there I am. They have like a little pedal and they like to like juggle it and stuff. I think it's so cute. And everyone loves a good otter. Like they're a crowd pleaser. Um, if someone had to play you in a movie of your time in DCU, who would play you and why? There's so many, God. Um, big Viola Davis fan. Big Viola Davis fan. But I think she's a bit too like mature. It's like, it feels like I'm still growing, so maybe like um, Ruth Nega, she's pretty cool. Yeah, I think she's got that kind of softness, but rawness, and I think maybe she'd play me. Oh, um, that's a good one. Um, I'd like to say Leon Pratt was my favourite actor, um, but I like Chris O'Dowd. I'd say Chris O'Dowd just because you know he's a country guy as well. Like he's from West Ham, right? From Offaly. There's so not too much difference between us, and like he's just he's quite Irish humoured, which I am as well. I'd like to think that is. So yeah, Chris about Oh, see, I'm always compared to like Zoe Deschanel because um, she, seemingly, I am Jess from New Girl. Do you know New Girl? And she's like, you know, a primary teacher, and she likes to narrate things through song and make love puns. So I very much relate to that. And she has the fringe, so like, it's an easy transition. <laughs> what makes you approachable? I think um, maybe the fact that I kind of look like the everyman. Like I, don't, I know I'm a bit different compared to like say the general population of Ireland, but I think I do look approachable because I look at every man. I don't think I'm too aloof or like maybe too quiet. I think I do like look approachable by just being a normal person. Um, I'm quite a good listener. I'm also quite good at advice as well. Um, and I think that I don't really sugarcoat things. I feel that something has to be said. I'd ease into it when I got here, but I, I will say what needs to be said. Um, I've had, I'm also quite open. In the sense that I don't just take on everyone's problems, so I feel like a problem too, I would like to share with people who are close with. Which I think makes people more approachable because if you're just taking on everyone's problems and you're not giving their problems to other people, they might be like, oh, like he's, he's just like a close book. Whereas if you let people know that you've insecurities as well, it's easier for people to come to you. Oh god, I've been told before, like I've worked in pennies and literally every customer always comes to me and people have just said, you have a real approachable face and I have no idea what that means, so I've got to take it well. But then, um, like I'm always, you know, usually it's me who's jumping in and being like, hey, please be my friend. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, like I'm, I could absolutely talk for Ireland, but um, I can also listen for Ireland, so that's important. Um, but yeah, no, I would consider myself super approachable. Um, like I'm always up for chats about literally anything. So yeah, no, I would be a very approachable person. <laughs>